Hi, this is Chandeep from Goodly and let's take a sneak peek into this uh, dynamic chart that I have made where I have used multiple slicers and I am working with the chart in uh, with the help of multiple slicers. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you that uh, how is this chart made? So you already have taken a look at the data. The data is uh, like this date, unique visitors and page uh, for two websites. I'm going to take you over to the support sheet. Now what I have done here is uh, I have two pivot tables. The first pivot table is for website A, uh, which contains uh, two fields, which is uh, the date and the unique visitors. That's here. And then I have a second pivot table, which also contains date and unique uh, users. Now what I have done is on these two pivot tables, I have created a timeline and I have created a slicer. Now the, the timeline is something that I haven't talked about yet on the blog. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly talk about that. So um, I'm going to click on, on this pivot table anywhere in this pivot table. I'm going to go in the analyze tab. In the analyze tab, I have two things, slicer and a timeline. I'm going to click on insert timeline and timeline is something that you can only, only put it on dates. So only one thing gets highlighted, which is a date. I'm going to check box, check the box here and click on OK. And I have something like a timeline. And the cool part about the timeline is that I can pick up anything uh, in here. So let's say I pick up uh, from January till March and this data is going to get filtered from January till March. Similarly, what I have done is I have gone under the um, analyze tab and inserted a slicer and the slicer was on the page and clicked on OK. And uh, that's about it. So I'm just going to unfilter that uh, and I have all the pages now. Now, these are the two sets of slicers and timeline for this pivot table. Similarly, I have created um, two more slicers and timelines for this pivot table. So quickly, I'm going to go and do that. Analyze, uh, insert slicer on the page, click on OK. And uh, again, uh, analyze, uh, insert timeline this time on the date because that's the only thing and click on OK. And I get a slicer and a timeline. And through the timeline, I can filter the dates and uh, you know do uh, quick cool filtering here i'm just going to close that now please take a look uh, obviously i'm just going to change the look of this uh, slicer and the timeline so the timeline is going to be colored in this fashion and the slicer is going to be colored in approximately the same fashion right so they have a distinctive look and now uh, this is meant for this pivot table and this uh, slicer and timeline is meant for this pivot table now take a look I'm just going to take you over to my dashboard and just take a look at how quickly am I interchanging the uh, four sets of slicers and timelines with the click of a button take a look here in the dashboard what I have is two things uh, I have um, a slicer and a timeline sorry this is the timeline this is slicer and when I click on company Oh, sorry uh, website a this is going to change to uh, the first timeline and slicer so if you just take a look this is, has now changed to the first timeline and slicer right and when i again click on, click on company b oh, sorry website b and this is again going to change to another slicer although i have four slicers uh, sorry four pieces of objects on my sheet but how do i you know only show up two of them and then work with four of them that's something that i have to share with you so if you just take a look closely uh, on these two objects these two are superimposed on these two slicers and timelines just take a look here right so i have not two but four objects on my sheet and what i have done is written a small piece of code just a one line piece of code just to make sure that when i click on website b the yellow one comes up and when i click on website a the blue one comes up and just take a look at the code at the back so i'm going to press alt f11 to take a look at the code there are two codes here website a and website b take a look at the first code which is website a which says that on my active sheets, I have shapes, range, and array. Array, why array? Because I am trying to select two things here. Uh, if you just take a look at this, sorry, let's just take a look at this one. This one, and this is the timeline. And the name of this timeline is date. And the name of this slicer is page. Similarly, the name of this timeline is date one. And the name of this is page one. You can change the names, that's not a problem. So I'm just, again, going to go to my uh, uh, visual basic window and how do I show it to you uh, okay let's just do it this way 
just, just squeeze it here all right so just take a look at this uh, code here so on my active sheet uh, in the shapes and there is a range of shapes that I'm selecting uh, sorry uh, in the shapes I have an array and uh, I am picking up uh, two things here page and date which is page is this and date is this I'm picking up both and I'm then saying that please bring it to the front so Z O Z order MSO bring to front right and the second one is when I click on website B um, again active sheets range shapes range array page one date one and then I'm uh, bringing this to the front so let's just take a look at how the code is going to work when I run the macro so I'm going to run it line by line so just take a look uh, as of now I'm running website A that means I want the blue one to come on top of the uh, yellow one right so let's just take a look uh, I'm gonna press F8 to uh, run the macro uh, line by line so one, once again now take a look at what's gonna happen So as soon as it detects this line of code uh, this comes up on top of this right and the code ends now let's just run the second one I'm just gonna press F8 once again and the second one then is going to come on the second on the first one now take a look this has come on top of this one right and what I have done is then uh, I have right clicked on these option buttons here and then I have gone to uh, assign macro and then linked it to website a macro and the second one I have linked it to uh, website B macro so that when I click on them uh, you know the macro kind of runs and the additional thing that I've done is I've made the Mac and the timelines and the slices so seamless in terms of their size uh, and their color and stuff the formatting and stuff that they uh, uh, kind of gel well on top of each other so I'm just going to do a bottom alignment here and you just take a look that they fit absolutely well without any problem on top of each other so now uh, it seems that you know the other two slices are hidden and these two have come up and uh, now it seems that uh, website B uh, the website B slicer has come up and website A slicer is hidden alright so that's how you can kind of manage uh, multiple slices on uh, your dashboard by the use of hiding a couple of slices which are irrelevant to your selection as of now right thank you for staying with me and stay tuned to goodly a lot of awesome stuff coming up shortly take care and bye bye